Hey there, welcome back to Blender Express. Today we are going to animate an arrow along the curve. Let's get started. First, let's start with pressing Shift A and add a plane. Rotate it at X axis by 90 degrees. Duplicate the plane and hide for a while. We will use it later. Scale the first plane by pressing S and 0.2. Then go to edit mode and add a loop cut in the middle. Select both vertices and press G and 0.4 to raise it a bit so that it is like an arrow pointing upward. Apply the scale for the plane. Next unhide the second plane. Select first plane, followed by the second plane and hit Ctrl P to parent it as the object. Press Shift A to add a curve. You can choose any curve that you like. Rotate the curve on Y axis by 90 degrees to direct the arrow that we want. Extrude the curve a bit to fit the length of arrow that we want. Select the second plane and go to Modifier and choose Array. Set the factor to Y axis. Then add a second modifier, which is Curve Modifier, and select our curve as target object. We can increase array count to fit our curve length. After that click on Object Properties and Find Instancing tab, then select Face. We can unhide the second plane in viewport and render by unticking it. As we can see now our arrow faces a wrong axis. We need to rotate it to X axis by 90 degrees. Now select the arrow and go to array modifier and reduce factor Y to rearrange our arrows. Increase array count to 15 so that it fits curve length. Next is to add material on our arrow. Go to Material tab, create new material and set it to Emission. Choose the color that we want and increase the strength to 15. Switch to Render View and make a black background in the World tab. Under Render Properties, enable a bloom effect so that our arrow appears glowing. Now is time to animate our arrow. On Timeline set to 1, let's make Array count to 1, and add keyframe on it by pressing I key. Move the timeline cursor to 20, and change array count to 15, and don't forget to hit I key again. Select all keyframe, and press Shift E, and choose to make cyclic to create a loop animation. That's it for today. I hope that this video is helpful and please like, share and subscribe to help this channel grow. Thank you, see you in the next video.